Uh, hiya YouTube I've done it again I've got myself into trouble but hey ho there you go <sighs> I've got another printer but this one I've got a lot of work to do to it this is the this is the E3D printer um, what's good about it well it's simple this is a project that I'm doing up as you can see um, all its belts are missing out of there this motor don't seem to be working uh, but everything else is working so so the hotbed's working the, the motherboard's working everything seems to be working great except of this that and the other. A good part has happened today which I'm quite happy about. Um, I had a two gigabyte card in there which wouldn't read and then I put a 32 gig in and straight away it's card inserted so it's reading it perfect and when I press the controls when I go to there, oh, hang on. When I go to there. I go to DCM because that's where I put the programs into DCM. There you go. So it's all working. So the overall general is this is a big clean up. I stripped down the clean up and I'm going to get it working. I hope. But it's it all working. All the hotbeds working. Hot ends. Everything. Everything seems working. All except. Just a part there, uh, uh, the the filament. I've got five motors, so I'm bob there. So after all the hard work, it took me about a week, maybe a week and a half, to get the belts replaced, you know, and all that stuff. The motor on there was no good, so I've had to replace it for a brand new one. Brand new motor here. A brand new step motor, should I say. Um, it's got brand new belts all brand new belts replaced I've made myself a spore holder with my E3D uh, sorry with my um, Ender 3 sorry I made new um, just covers for the side of it the power supply never even had the right to um, bracket to nothing. So I built new brackets for it. I built that new case for it there. I re rewired the power supply so it takes a normal uh, a normal power socket. So I can turn it off at the printer itself here with this part. I've done quite a lot really, honest to God. You wouldn't believe it. I've tightened the frame up, I've done all that, uh, the frame was all loose, it was in really bad condition for what it was. Uh, the deeper I went into it, the more work what I found out that had to be done, it wasn't an easy task at all. I've rebuilt, uh, right, right, the person that had it, uh, if you watch the first part of the video, you'll see he had like grey feet there. What he had actually done was he actually printed out some large corner pieces for them parts there and then raised the whole of this lot up by two inches so as he could put them on there just as feet. <laughs> Ridiculous. So I've rebuilt, uh, I took them off, I've reloaded all this part down, 
really straightened it all my tubes perfectly level and that and then I've built these um, feet with tennis balls in for noise reduction it's had uh, a lot it got on the board quite stepper motor uh, drivers which is good that's why you can hardly hear it otherwise you'd be making a right clang -off. it's still slightly noisy because of the arms but that's to be expected isn't it yeah it's got new springs on the belts there's absolutely no belt on this whatsoever I've rerouted the wires to make sure everything's right. I've recovered all of the wiring, so it's really good. Lucky for me, the the actual original sensor for automatic leveling was perfect in well in working good order, so I kept that. I put some the blue, very very hot tube on, so. It's, never going to block up that way I routed the wires all the way down there proper how it should be all underneath that bed is all nice and neat you won't find no dangling wires underneath as you can see the wires are not dangling underneath like it was it was like a load of spaghetti hanging underneath there before that's all nice and tidy so yeah, it's all done. I'm just going to show you a, a, a test cube of the X, Y and the Z. That's what I'm printing out now. I'll show you that in a minute when it's finished. But yeah, it's all done. And it's massive, but it's nice. Um, Oh yes, and that was mine originally what I built for it to just to check the motor was all running and that but it wasn't. So like I said, brand new brand new step motor there. It's had such a lot of work done to it. I will say that I prefer the bed flat uh, flat on air rather than jack it up on springs and mess about. Especially when you go on automatic like leveler you don't need it so i don't use the glass bed part i would rather put a bit of like purple glue down to hold it proper well yeah it's working beautiful now all sorted i had to tighten all these up make sure these were perfectly lined up and all square this thing has had so much work done to it it's ridiculous and what gets me right is um, I paid enough for it when I got it and that was a wreck and you know what I print like this car in Paul 150 pounds <laughs> Well, I think I'd rather keep it myself personally. Somebody wants to buy it off me because they need the um, the rods there, the arms, because they want to chop it up and fix their print to it. How stupid. I'm not going to let that happen to them. It's beautiful, man. Eh? But anyway, so yeah, I'll end up keeping it and I'm quite happy with that. As you can see, no time at all. She's already printing away nice. She's getting a cube on the way. The cube is printing a bit faster at the moment. It's doing by 100% speed. But I have, I'll show you with the cube once she's finished, eh?
So as you can see, he's just done the XY, Z, Q, um, had to turn the speed down to 60, because I didn't want no ghosting, but hey, look at that. There's nothing wrong with that, it's lovely and sharp, uh, no ghosting on it, obviously. And X and Y and, and that. So she's nice. Very, very good actually. Real sharp corners, real sharp edges. So, no ghosting on it. So she's all done. Can't complain with that machine uh, for that scale, anyway. So yeah, that was a big job it was to do. So I'm all gonna keep this baby, because it's big. You never know, I might do some robo suit or something, something that's worth keeping the machine to do. And this machine is good for tallness. Even though it's got a 300 bed, when it's printing, you can only get 220, I think it is, out of it. Something like that. And I do have my end, uh, my, uh, my end uh, uh, 3 maximum with a 300 bed, so that's a square bed as well, so you can get like 290 out on. But hey, this is a lot taller than my end of 3 max. So I might as well use the height. I might as well keep it just for the height of 3D printing. And it's another printer to my collection. Anyway, thanks for looking. Catch you later. Oh, I'll, right, I'll end this with the, the build video. Um, the manufacturer's build video. Um, just to show people how much work that is when you're building one of these machines yourself so catch us later bye